Hello class. Today is Friday. I can't believe it's Friday again already. Friday, May the 21st. So that's two groups of 10. Do it with me. 10, 20, and one more because it's 21. So 10 fingers two times, 10, 20, and then one more finger. 21. 2, 1. Our year is 2021. Our day is the 21st day of May, and our year is 2021. If today is Friday, then what was yesterday? Thursday, of course. If today is Friday, what will tomorrow be? Friday, Saturday. And it is gorgeous out today. Feels like a summer day. So let's put our calendar together. Friday. Yesterday was Thursday. Tomorrow will be Saturday. May. 21st. 2021 and it is definitely sunny out there. Will you close your eyes and we'll talk to our Heavenly Father. Dear Lord, we thank you for the birds chirping. We thank you for the green leaves opening up and the flowers that are beautiful all over the place. Uh, we thank you for our families. We thank you that we can learn today and we can um, get outside and have fun. We pray that you will help us to listen to your voice and to trust you and to love other people around um, in our family and outside our family. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Will you stand for O Canada? sing the Canadian National Anthem to celebrate all things Canadian. Are you ready? Here we go. Oh, Canada, our home and native land, true patriot love. Wonderful. And you can have a seat now. And we'll take a look at our language for today. We have our little books. So, JKs, can you take your little book and we'll read together? What is this book called? My Little, and you're pointing with your finger, F Book. And what do you see on the front page of this book that starts with F? F fish. Floating fish. Page number one. How many fish are in the fishbowl? Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five. And what does this word say? Five. Five ish. Five fish. And SH at the end of fish, we see SH. SH, when those two letters are together, they say shh. SH. Page number two. Fry food. 
Oh my goodness, it looks like they're frying up some sausages or hot dogs in their fish bowl. I've never seen that happen before. Five fish fry food. And find forks. Well, that was a fancy fish bowl. And, A, N, D, and find forks. Five fat fish. They must have eaten too much. Do they look fatter to you? They do. They probably have a tummy ache. Five fat fish. F at, f at. What word family is fat from? The at family. And after you have read it to yourself, you can read your little F book to some other people and have them sign their name. I read my little F book too. Good job. And SKs, Gus the Bug. He is a cute little guy, don't you think? Gus the Bug. The, T-H-E, the Bug. Ugg, Ugg. What word family is that? The Ugg family? What word family is Gus from? The Uh, Us family? G, Us, the B, Ugg, Bug. He looks pretty happy. See the smile on his face? What's Gus doing in this picture? Pictures can give us clues to the words. Gus runs. Gus runs. Gus runs. He's got his running shoes on. Page number three. Where is Gus running? Gus runs in mud. Ooh, he's getting those nice running shoes all muddy. Gus runs in mud. We can hear there's four words there, right? And if we move our finger to each word, we can count them. One, Gus. Two, runs. Three, in. Four, mud. Page number four. Let's turn to page number four. Gus. Gus in the tub. Gus in the tub. He had to get cleaned up after running through the mud. Page number five. Rub a dove. Gus the what? Bug. That rhymes, doesn't it? Rub a dub. They're both Gus the bug. So rub and dub are both from the ub family. You think he's all sparkling clean now? Let's read what we read so far on this page. It has all the other pages. Gus runs. Gus runs in mud. Gus in the tub. Rub a dub. Gus the bug. And on this page, you can make sure you read it to three different people and have them sign their name. And on the last page, you're the illustrator. Draw a picture of something that happened in this book and then sign your name. Picture by and your name. Have fun with that. And you also all have a coloring page. We've been having such nice sunny weather. And we have some you word families that we're practicing on this page. Can you believe it? We're practicing word families while we do a coloring sheet. Color the un words orange. So if you find a word that has un, un at the end, color it orange. Color the ut words yellow. If you find words that end with ut, ut, color those yellow. Color the ug words red. Color the ug words red like bug, right? 
U-G. Any word that has U-G at the end, you color it red. So you're using orange, yellow, and red because that's going to make that beautiful, can you see what it is? Sun. Uh, nice and bright with those three colors. And then practice reading those words. They all have U's in the middle of them. Some of them will rhyme if they're from the same word family, and others will rhyme with other words that are in their word family. All right. When you're done all of that, we will move on to our math. And we have a cute math activity called Willy the Worm. It's also our craft. It's good to do, have fun while we're doing math. You can count on Willy. That's kind of a joke. If you can count on someone, it means that they're a good friend. They'll be there to help you. But we can also practice counting with Willy the Worm. So you have an apple. You cut it out. Now get an adult to help you if you need help. It's good to practice cutting. It helps our fingers learn how to move. It's tricky to hold on to scissors and cut when you're first learning how. And there we go, here's our apple. And you can see it's got some dotted lines in the middle. We're gonna cut on the dotted lines to make a slit in the middle of the apple. Who do you think is gonna go in there? Who else likes to eat apples besides people? You got it, Willie the Worm. So here's his body, it's got all these numbers on it. Numbers from one all the way to 10. You need to trace on all of those numbers to practice writing your numbers. And then it says glue the head here. So here's Willie's head, he looks happy and he's got his tongue sticking out like he knows he's going to get a yummy treat. So I'm going to glue the head onto the body and you can do that too. You might want to cut the head out a little bit. I'll do that. It's in a square, but you can cut it out of the square. Or you could just leave it in the square. There we go. So there's Willie, his body and his head. You've traced the numbers. You put a slit in the apple, but what, what do apples need on top to make them hold to the tree? They need a stem, of course. So we will cut the stem out and glue it on. There it is. What else do apples need in order to make food? They need leaves because what do the leaves do? They spread out like hands ready to get the sunlight because for plants to grow, they need rain and sunlight and the sunlight helps them make food. So now we're cutting the leaves out. That's a big word when leaves collect the sunlight and turn it into food. It's called photosynthesis. Photosynthesis. I'm just gonna put one leaf on for now, but you can put two on. Can you say that word with me? Photosynthesis. Plants take in oxygen as well through their leaves and they give off carbon they take in, excuse me, they take in carbon dioxide. They like carbon dioxide. And they give off oxygen. And we breathe that oxygen in because we like oxygen and we don't like carbon dioxide. We get rid of the carbon dioxide, breathe the oxygen in. Plants get rid of the oxygen and breathe in the carbon dioxide. They take it in 
from their leaves as well as the sunshine. Photosynthesis. Say it with me. Photosynthesis. You'll learn more about that when you get in grade one. Alrighty. So now we have the apple with the stem and the leaf and Willie the worm. So we're going to put him through the apple because worms like to eat apples. So he's going to help us with our counting. You can color him. Of course, you're going to color the apple red, the leaf green, color the worm head, whatever color you want, and maybe color his body green. And then you can use him to practice counting. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And you can practice adding with it too, or counting on. So let's pick a number to start at. Let's start at three. And we're going to count on two. So three plus two more. One, two. And what do we get to? We get to five. So that's the answer. We started at three. And we went over, or we hopped over, two more. Pretend you're a bunny. You're hopping from three over two more. One, two, and that takes us to five. If we hop over two from three, we get to five. One, two. So those are our two numbers. Three plus two equals five. So you can practice your adding with Willie the Worm. You can practice your counting with Willie the Worm. Counting by ones, counting by twos. If we want to practice counting by twos, we just have to skip a number. So we're going to skip one. We're at two. What comes after two? Three. So we'll skip three and we're at four. Skip five and we're at six. Skip seven and we're at eight. Skip nine and we're at ten. Let's practice counting by twos. Two, four, six, eight, ten. So that's just skipping a number in between. We start at two and then we just skip a number until we get to 10. Two, four, six, eight, ten. One more time. Two, four, six, eight, ten. Now, we can also practice counting by fives, and that's pretty easy. If we start at five, and then we add five to it, we're already at 10. Five, 10, let's do that with our fingers. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50. So counting by five is just adding five on, five more each time. Now let's count by tens. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, and 100. So you have fun making Willie the Worm and practicing your counting and your adding with Willie the Worm. He's happy to have a bite out of the apple and also count with you and add with you. All right, so SKs and JKs, you can make Willie the Worm. And then SKs, you also have one more practice page. On the front, it says do the following additions. Two plus one. So you can pretend this is just like Willie's body. If you start at two, and you go over one more, what do you get to? Let's practice that on our whiteboard. So here we are. We're going to write some numbers on here. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. All right, so we said when we're counting on, we're hopping. So the first question is two plus one. So let's, we're starting at 2, because it says 2, plus 1. 
So we're, that means we're hopping over one. Two, hop over one, takes you to three. Two, hop over one, takes you to three. So two plus one more is three. Two, three. Okay. Now I'll do one more with you. The next one is five plus two. So the first number is, tells us where we start. We start at five. And the next number tells us how many we hop over. Five plus two. Hop over one, hop over two. Like a bunny rabbit. One, two. Or like a snake slithering. One, two. Five plus two equals, what do we get to? Seven. We start at five, because that's our first number. Plus two, that means move over two, or hop over two. Six, seven. Five plus two, excuse me. Five, six, seven. One hop, two hops, because that number is two. Five plus two equals seven. That's the number we landed on when we hopped over two. On this one, we start at two and we hop over one and we land on three. So two plus one hop gets us to three. Two plus one equals three. Five plus two equals seven. You can go ahead and work on those. You just need to pretend that this line up here is Willie's body. And what, whatever your first number is, is where you start. And the sec number, second number is how many you hop over. And where you get to is the answer. You can go ahead and do that now. And on this, the back of your page, you have another fun coloring page. There's a code there. It says everything that equals two, you color red. So you're doing some addition problems on the quilt. Some of them just say two. Anything that's two, you color red. Two plus zero, if you have two and you don't get any more, that's still two, so that would be red. Anything that's three is blue. So if you have two candies and someone gives you another one, two plus one, that's three. If you need some help on this page, I'm sure that an adult at your home could help you with that. But you can use your counters. Um, so if the question is 2 plus 3, whatever you're using for counters, get 2 in one hand and 3 in the other, and that will help you. 2, and then hop over 3. If we're doing it on the number line, you can turn it back over to this page. 2, hop over 3. 1, 2, 3 takes you to 5. 2 plus 3 equals 5. So everything that equals 5, you're going to color yellow. Do your best at that one. It's a challenge, but um, you can have an adult help you with it as well. I know that you are smart cookies, and God has given you good brains, and you can learn um, new challenges when we keep practicing. We don't know everything before we practice, do we? But practicing is good for our brain. It stretches it because our brain is a muscle and helps us to learn new things. Alrighty, so that's our math, and I think we do need to stretch our bodies right now. How about we sing Old Man Finnegan? Are you ready? There was an old man named Michael Finnegan. Standing up. Reaching, stretching. Yes, you can do it. Oh, it feels good to stretch when we've been sitting. There was an old man named Michael Finnegan. He grew whiskers on his chin again. The wind came out and blew them in again. Poor old Michael Finnegan, begin again. There was an old man named Michael Finnegan. He grew whiskers on his chin again. The wind came out and blew them in again. Poor old Michael Finnegan, begin again. There was an old man named Michael Finnegan. He grew whiskers on his chin again. The wind came out and blew them in again. Poor old Michael Finnegan, begin again. There was an old man named Michael Finnegan. He grew whiskers on his chin again. The wind came out and blew them in again. Poor old Michael Finnegan. Don't begin again. Take a deep breath. Let it out slowly. In. 
and out. Simon says, put your hands on your head. Simon says, put your hand on your elbow. Put your hand on your other elbow. Oh, I didn't say Simon says. If you put your hand on your other elbow, you're out. Simon says, put your finger on your nose. Simon says, put your finger on your chin. Simon says, put your finger on your forehead. Put your finger on your cheek. Oh, I didn't say Simon says. If you put your finger on your cheek, you're out. You get a chance to sit down. Simon says, clap your hands. Simon says, tap your fingers. Simon says, hop up and down. Simon says, stand on one foot, stand on the other foot. Oh, if you stand on the other foot, you're out. Okay, let's all grab our hands at the back and move over this way, lean over this way, arch your back. Make your shoulders go around and take another deep breath in and let it out. And take a break if you need to. Snack break or bathroom break. When we come back, we'll have story time. We have a story about word families today. Hop on top. I'll see you in a few minutes. Alrighty, this is a fun book. Hop on Top by Dr. Seuss. What is the word family that is in the title of this book? If you said op, you're correct. O P, op. Huh, op, huh, op. We have two different words there. So, are you getting the feeling there might be some rhyming words in this book? Up, pup, pup is up. Cup, pup, pup in a cup. Cup, pup, cup on a pup. Yikes. Oh, he doesn't look too afraid. Still smiling. Mouse, house, mouse on a house. House, mouse, house on a mouse. Do you think a mouse is that strong? All tall, we are all tall. All small, we are all small. All ball, we all play ball. Ball, wall, up on a wall. Boy, they have good balance. See how they're throwing the balls and hitting the balls and standing on their tippy toes? All fall. Fall off the wall, baby. They don't have such good balance. Boom. What word family are all and fall from? The all family, A-L-L. -L. What's another word that's in the all family? What if we put an M in front of all? What would we get? You got it. That's right. It would be m all mall. The mall is closed right now, isn't it? Day play. We play all day. Night fight. We fight all night. Uh-oh. He, me, he is after me. Him, Jim. Jim is after him. <laughs> I guess Jim isn't afraid of him, is he? He's biting his tail. C, B, we see a B. C, B, three. Now we see three. Ooh, I'd get out of there. I don't think those bees look very happy. Three tree, three fish in a tree. 
fish in a tree? How could that be? Red, red, they call me red. Red bed, I'm in bed. Red bed, is that the Ed family? Red has some beautiful hair. Red, Ned, Ted, and Ed in bed. That is a big bed. Red, Ned, Ted, and Ed. Pat, Pat, they call him Pat. Pat sat. Pat sat on hat. Pat cat. Pat sat on what? You guessed it. Cat. Yikes. Pat bat. Pat sat on bat. That looks tricky. No, Pat. No, don't sit on that. What do you think he's going to sit on? Ooh, that's gonna hurt. That's a cactus. Sad, dad, bad, had. Dad is sad, very, very sad. He had a bad day. What a day dad had. Have you ever had a bad day? But the good thing is, God gives us the gift of a new day. Thing, thing, what is that thing? Thing sing. That thing can sing. Song long, a long, long song. Goodbye thing, you sing too long. He just kept singing and singing and singing. Walk, walk, we like to walk. Walk, talk, we like to talk. Walk and talk. Hop, pop, we like to hop. We like to hop on top of pop. Do you think pop likes that? How does he look in the next page? He says, stop, you must not hop on pop. I don't think he likes it. Mr. Brown, Mrs. Brown, Mr. Brown upside down. His hat must be strong. Pop up. Brown down. Pup is down. Where is brown? Whoo! He must have gone pretty high in the sky. High sky. Where is brown? There is brown. Mr. Brown is out of town. And that is the own word family. Brown town. Back, black, brown came back. Brown came back with Mr. Black. He made a friend. Snack, snack, eat a snack. Eat a snack with brown and black. That looks like a yummy snack. What do they have there? Apples, bananas, sandwiches. Jump, bump. He jumped, he bumped, fast, past, he went past, fast. Went tent, sent, he went into the tent. I sent him out of the tent. I don't think he wanted a bear in his tent. Wet, get, two dogs get wet. Help, yelp, they yelp for help. They don't like their boat. He will, will went up the hill. Will hill still. Will is up hill still. Father, mother, sister, brother. That one is my other brother. He looks like he's flying. My brothers read a little bit. Little words like if and it. If, if, I, F, and, A, N, D, it, it, t.
If we put a B in front of it, what will we get? B, it, bit. My father could read big words too, like Constantinople and Timbuktu. Constantinople and Timbuktu. Can you say that? Constantinople. How many syllables is that? Constantinople. Five syllables. Timbuktu. Timbuktu. Three syllables. Say, say. What does this say? There's some little letters there. See, he, me, we. Pat, pop, pop. He, three, tree, t. And top, hop, stop. Those words rhyme, don't they? But this guy says, ask me tomorrow, but not today. I think maybe he's tired of learning and he wants to learn some more tomorrow. And I think it's time for you to take a break and have a wonderful evening and a wonderful weekend and we'll meet back together on Monday. Bye for now.